video of how to measure somebody for an otter suit. We'll start at the head. This is around by the eyebrows, which Trace is demonstrating there, but I can't quite see for hands. There we go, we can see it there now. So that's there. Um, so that's one. The next one on the list would be the next seal as we go down. So you measure next to the skin. Like a little bit lower down than that, Trace. So just a touch, that's it. So we measure that. And uh, that's perfect. For the wrist, if you can just put your wrist out, and I'll take a picture of where I want to be. That's just where the seal goes for the wrist. Whether it's a detachable um, Cytex seal or neoprene or latex, it's all the same. And then the forearm and the bicep, there we go, the bicep. You need to be wearing a, a sweat top um, that gives me a, a positive size of the person. That's great, so that's the bicep. And if we move down to the forearm, just a touch lower to where so the fattest bit of the forearm, if you can find it. Uh, it's not exactly bulging any longer, but very <laughs> good. Um, so that's uh, around there. And by the side, you pop the tape measure right into the corner by the wrist, come down the shoulder, all the way down to the wrist. That gives me the length of the arm. Out sideways like a windmill. It's from under the arm. Make sure they're not too sweaty. Uh, to the wrist, uh, the arm length between those two measurements. This one's quite important, which is the diameter of the chest. And in the case of a lady, this would be the bust. But uh, there you go. So that's without inflating your lungs, without sucking in, just relaxed like that, and just level all the way around. The waist is not so relevant because the back of the dry suits are elasticated, so whether you're fat or thin, it should adjust to your. This one's a hip measurement which is particularly important on girls because there's so many different size hips and it goes round the biggest part of your bum as it were and the cheeks and that gives me the uh, hip measurement. Body hoop, this is the one that everybody gets wrong. This is the one where you pop it at the base of your neck, it comes all the way down through the legs and all the way around to the other side. Now most tape measures um, too short to do this one so normally um, normally if you put your finger on there and then move it from there to the base of the neck right like that. just measure the, the last bit so this there we go so that's the complete measurement in this case it's in, in inches it's um, 67 67 there on the base of the neck all the way down through the legs all the way up and it's to the base of the neck checking the body length again and it's neck to waist you have to make sure that it goes on the neck which is the important bit and then uh, you go all the way down and it's not so important if you stop there uh, as long as you remember where you stop there and carry on down the side so that's neck to waist and the next one is waist yeah at the side that's it. Now can you spot the deliberate mistake here? Right, he's still got his shoes on. Come on Laurie, do you think you can just take your shoes off first? That's it. So if we do this in stocking feet, it works out really good. So it's where we may finish up measuring for the neck to the waist, all the way down to the ankle bone. And uh, there we go, that's a checkup measurement for the body hoop and the leg length. Thigh. This is how fat your legs are that we need to know. That's it. If there's a lump in your pocket, tell us and we'll put a little pocket in your suit to take the lump. There we go. So it's all around there. That's, so that's the thigh, fattest part. And then the knee, as we come down the leg of the knee. Just bend your leg from here slightly, just so I can that's see. It. That's the knee, and, and Tracy's got Molly to bend his leg so he can see where the knee is. So that's the knee, the calf that Tracy's doing now. Some people have really massive calves if you're skiers and do that sort of sport. So this is uh, the calf, and then uh, we can go all the way down to the ankle. Normally we pull the trousers up at the, at the bottom just for your ankle. Because we want to know if the top of the boot is the right diameter. So that's it, the skinny bit of your ankle. Yep, that's right. it. So for the crutch to ankle bone, we'll let the customer hold the top bit so we don't get in bother. And so he holds it. Uh, 
as long as you want the leg is how far you push up the tape measure comes all the way down to the ankle bone and the difference between ankle bone and floor is normally about uh, two and a half to three inches so that's the ankle bone and if Tracy pushes the tape now then that's it to the floor so it gives me two measurements um, one is checking the other so I've got the right this one is knee to floor which is quite important on a neoprene suit otherwise we can make your knee miss the knee pad so if you Logger bends his leg forward a bit, that gives you the middle of his knee. If he bends it back, that gives it straight, and then you go all the way to the floor. That's fine. That looks good, that. That's to get your knee pads in the right place. It's a good way of getting the height of people. If you stand against the wall and just put a mark, just a slight mark or something like this, just on the wall. Okay, thank you. And if we measure from that mark, don't let the wife see you doing this. And measure all the way down to the floor. Unfortunately most tape measures are too short to uh, measure in one. But if you measure that to the floor it gives you the height. And uh, there we go. Most tape measures are on there. Just over a metre long so that's fine.